All right, and we're in the kitchen with Chef Bob Hirasawa from Farm Fresh. Do you have a favorite Halloween candy? I guess it was Snickers. Snickers was your Snickers favorite? Or Kit Kats. Snickers yeah. satisfies you. And, you know, and he yes. has daughters. I do have what daughters. What do you think about that? Man. All, all the power to it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put, them out, you know, put them out there with a sign. and yeah. All right, well, let's talk about what you're okay. here to do today. We're uh, staying with the Oktoberfest theme. What are you mm -hmm. making today? Well, I'm going to do some pork chops, and we're going to stuff them with, our, with some bratwurst and a lot of fall kind of fruity stuff. We're going to have some apricots and some craisins and things okay. like that. But we're going to, uh, then we're going to finish off bacon wrapping it. Okay? All right, so it's like so a trifecta of pork. Uh, uh, absolutely. And then we're going some to have nice. To, and sherried apples to oh, go with that. Oh, some nice fall flavors. All right, mm -hmm. so we can't wait to get started, and we'll be doing that just in a little bit. <laughs> we're back now in the kitchen, you know, with an extra happy chef, Bob Harasawa from Farm Fresh, because his San Francisco Giants, and I am from the Bay Area, yeah. too, yeah. so congratulations to them for winning Are we the talking Series. Dynasty, or... I don't know. <laughs> He's just all excited <laughs> about it. But we need to concentrate on our food. Okay. What are we making? We're making a Feast of Fall Flavors. Feast of Fall Flavors. We're going to do, we're featuring our Wild Harvest pork loin, mm -hmm. uh, pork loin chops, I'm sorry. And we're going to stuff it with some bratwurst and some other little things. And I actually did a stuffing, kind of laid out the stuffing that okay. we did. So that's what we're aiming yeah. to do. We're aiming to do that. We had to start with onions. We had bratwurst. That's the main thing. We have cranberries. Uh, Apricots, just for the heck of it. We got some thyme and some sage, uh, a little garlic. We always use some wow, garlic. Wow, that's, that's a whole lot and of a, And the uh, breadcrumbs, just kind of come bring it all bring together. Bring it all together. Well, and then you end up with this. So you would and like saute all that together? So all, all together, cook it off. Mm -hmm. So it's fully cooked. Okay. okay. Now, next you're going to do is you're going to take the, take the uh, pork loin okay. chops. Okay, and got I'm going to put in. my gloves on mm -hmm. so I can help you out. And I just split them open to form so just, a pocket. So when you cut mm -hmm. them and you want to split them, you don't want to mm -hmm. cut too much. You don't want to cut all the way through. Just a, a big pocket. pocket. Okay. Right. And I'm going to let you go ahead and... So we're going to stuff it with, this is the uh, sautéed mixture, that's the all cooked the, off yeah. mixture. And go ahead. So the bratwurst, you can see the cranberries yeah, in there. Yeah, you got gloves on. Go and grab some and just pop what? them in there. Yeah, okay. Is that enough? How, uh, how far going. do you want to stuff keep it? As much as you can get in there and okay. press it in. I guess okay. I also want to comment on that com comment about the daughters. Luckily, thank God, I never had to do anything like that. My girls were pretty <laughs> Scary good. Scary topic for you, huh, Bob? <laughs> oh, it was. I had, to, I had to come back and validate that. Is that, that. good? Yeah. Uh, there you go. And I want you to get the other one, too. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to go ahead and finish it up. Just use my hands. And yeah, just stuff that. Okay. And I'm going to reach across here. Mm -hmm. This is eventually what you're going to try to get is the pork chop here. And you're going to have the seam on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you were saying the cranberries, the apricots, that's all like you think to think of fall when yeah. you're cooking. And we actually we did a little applesauce in there to kind of give us some moisture. But okay. yeah, just that type of thing. And, you know, change it up. Do whatever you want, you know. And then to... to um, wrap this. I'm sure you just. How many pieces of bacon per per loin I'm doing, chop? I'm doing three here, okay. but I'm just trying to get enough. And we just lay these side to side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So lay the strips down. Yeah. Now if I can get my fingers working, there we go. Okay. Lay them side to side. Okay. And then what you do is you take the, take the pork chop, and what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it over and try to finish it on this side. Okay. And okay. Bring it over. So you just you fold can, them over. Yeah. Just bring it over, and and then it's going to actually. Put the seam down, and the seam's gonna be like that, and we're okay. gonna drop that right in the pan. Okay. So is that just mm -hmm. to uh, kind of what sear it off? Sear it off, but also it helps seal it. Yeah, it's gonna sear it off, and then we're gonna finish these in the oven. Mm -hmm. Okay. The main thing is we're gonna get the pork chop cooked, which is not gonna take that long, because everything in the inside is already already done okay. for. You. Okay. And you're doing that pretty good. Did I do a good job? You did a good job. Good. Okay. And then we're gonna put that in here, and as these kind of brown off. Generally, what I Those do. Those look so big. I mean, I don't even think I could eat a whole, whole uh, pork loin right there. Well, once it cooks down, it'll, it'll shrink up a little bit. But mm -hmm. it, you know, it, th that should be it enough. Smells one, amazing one already. Person. Well, it's that bacon. Can't mm -hmm. go wrong with the bacon, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Okay, and I'm just going to transfer this over here and get this going. Okay. And we're going to go ahead. Why don't we jump in with some uh, apples? We're going to. This is the apples are going to kind of be a little base on there, kind of kind of be a little sauce. Mm -hmm. All we're going to do is add a little, just a little bit of oil to get started here. Now, how did you uh, come up with inspiration for this particular uh, dish, this well, recipe? I guess years ago, Mom, you know, used to make, you know, serve uh, pork chops with mm -hmm. fried apples or just with applesauce. So just okay. that kind of thing. It's a, you always think of it as the fall flavors and all come coming together. So, so it's another take on yeah. it. In, in so you know, pairing just, the apple flavor with the pork loin. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just gonna get that going. That's a hot pan. We're gonna okay. drop some, drop some. Uh, Ooh, kind of popping up there. Yeah. So these apples, you just slice them, peeled and sliced, soak peeled. it in some water. Soak this water and put a little bit of lemon juice or some type of acid. Keep them from turning brown. Okay. And you can do that ahead of time. Oh, that's a trick, huh? Yeah. And then you put that in. Okay. Um, how about a little salt and pepper? A little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
just to get the flavors come out. How about okay. some brown sugar? How yeah, much of this do I put in? I'll go with the whole thing. The whole thing. Why not? Nice and sweet. You want, you want some cinnamon on there? Mm -hmm. Get that cinnamon flavors. You can add nutmeg if you want, you know. Okay. And then we're going to just flame this off now with All a little right, bit of All right, flame syrup. it off. That means I'm going to back up. Uh, you know, maybe it will go, maybe not. So that's some, what did you say, apple sherry? A that, no, this is a, just a sherry, cream sherry. A cream sherry. Yeah, and we're just going to, that's going to cook down, and, and these are basically fried apples or cherried apples. All so right. We okay, so we're going to let that cook off. What are we going to be doing in our next segment when we come back? Next time, we're just going to kind of show it all together, bring it together. We're going to mm -hmm. place it and plate it up for us. But then also going to pair it up. We have some acorn squash being roasted off in the oven here. Okay, sounds good. And we can't forget dessert because he always brings dessert. So we'll be giving you a look at that a little bit later on. Hey, everybody. We're back now in the kitchen with Chef Bob Hirasawa from Farm Fresh. It's always great to have you in here every Thursday. And, you know, we're continuing to celebrate the fall with you. We're making um, a dish, Oktoberfest-ish. And these apples look absolutely delicious. Now, we've been working on the pork loin um, that we've stuffed and right. wrapped in bacon, okay. and that's in the oven. And I browned it off, put it in the oven, mm -hmm. kind of fishing it off a little bit. Um, okay. It takes, takes probably about 20 minutes in the oven. Okay? All right. And about 400. And then we started uh, cooking up these apples. So right. what's this for? The apples are, you know, everything kind of reduced. Down, all liquids reducing down. Last thing to do is you want to take a little bit of, take a little bit or as much a as you bit, want. A little bit, so I like yeah. things buttery. Okay. I mean, is that bad if I put it all in? All no, let's go ahead. All, go if you for want. It. We're just going to richen up. I like up it buttery. I mean, I'm just okay. saying. And then we're just going to go ahead and work this in. Mm hmm. Okay. In the meantime, just talk about the acorn squash we're going to pair up too. Acorn we, squash? Yeah. I'm not familiar. Tell me about uh, that. Acorn squash is, is, you know, one of the fall uh, squash. I was looking around if we see if we had any. I cut it all up. Kind of looks like the, the green uh, one over there, mm -hmm. but it actually just took take it, cut it in half, wash it off outside because you can eat the skin. Mm -hmm. But we wanted we scooped it out, um, put it on here. I roasted it off with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then finished it with cinnamon, mm -hmm. brown sugar, and, and then, then you added in maple some. Syrup. Uh, what yeah. are those pecans? Pecans, pecans on top. Pecans, pecans, whatever you want to say. Oh, so you're going to put and a maple syrup glaze, glaze on there. It so looks like a nice little side. That's Lots a little of side sweet going on. today okay. with the uh, pork yeah. chops. Yeah. Well, it's kind of sweet and savory coming together. Okay. And then we got the got the pork chops coming out. Excuse so pour out the pork chops. All right. Yeah, just can bring that over here. And those Ooh. apples are cooking down great. Wow, look at those. Okay. Cooked to perfection. Yeah. And let's see. Well. Hopefully we we are good here, and we're going to take that off and cut one in half. All right. You want to put a little bit of that, put a little bit of those uh, apples down on the plate first. Sure. Do that. Okay. okay. We'll switch sides off. here. Yeah. Jump over here real quick. A little bit of the apples. Okay. And then see how fill that. Is that good? You want more? Oh, let's put that in the center of the plate. Oh, in the center. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. I, didn't I don't. You need to yeah, give me go. specific directions. A little bit more. There you go. And that's okay. going to pair up well. How about we put put that down here? We're going mm -hmm. to cut that here. See how that looks inside? Yes. Nice and full. Very nice. Yeah. And then we'll put those on top. Okay. And that actually had a little bit of nice that. Nice fall flavor. And then there. how about a little bit of acorn squash? Acorn squash. Yeah. So what is the flavoring? Like when you eat an acorn squash, what does it taste like? Is it like other squash? Kind of like a, like a little bit like a pumpkin. Okay. Pumpkin flavor too. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, it all depends on your, on your seasoning you want. Okay. So we're just going to okay. add a little bond on there. Nice. And we got sweet this. and savory. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty and good. It, and that's what we got there. That's that's gonna all coming together. When you also come here to Farm Fresh, you know we have our desserts. Yes, because have. you know tomorrow's yeah. Halloween, so we brought some mm -hmm. Halloween themed desserts in. Look mm -hmm. at those pull apart cakes. I've actually ordered that yeah. um, for my kids for their birthday. It's nice because it's really cupcakes it's made cup to look like a cake, and right. so you don't even have to cut it. You just pull it apart. You don't have to cut it, and all kids yeah pull it apart, or or the parents, mm -hmm. um, or, or grown ups. The say. Halloween themes there with we, we, the Frankenstein yeah. and we, tree. And we still do have our uh, food bank drives going on. We also have one going for the. Uh, the uh, pet shelters, the mm -hmm. Wags of Love. Wags of Love. Now, Very again, nice. you pay pay dollars for that, but you get a four dollar coupon for a future purchase. Right, and if you're you know if you're having a Halloween get together tomorrow, you need some cookies, some cupcakes. I'm sure uh, you guys have lots of oh. themed, um, dressed up for Halloween type desserts. Absolutely, it's right there for you. Anything you need, you know, please come in and you know, get all your uh, Halloween needs at our mm -hmm. at Farm Fresh. Mm -hmm. Do you have a specific favorite dessert that you like? Um, I guess I like the cupcakes. I yeah, cupcakes. You know, hey, we've, we've shown a few other desserts here. Mm -hmm. uh, when we get into the fall, I'm a, I'm a sucker for pumpkin pie. Right. But, but if I can give a quick shout out to a couple friends, oh, sure. Marilyn, Billy, and the guys down there in Duck that are still fishing. I had to leave to come up here, but hey, oh, that's, you guys are all worth us, it. Just you guys are all well, worth it. Well, you know what? It, so. I think we have a little time here, so I'm actually, yes. actually going to taste Please. a little bit of this, and this is some mm -hmm. of the stuffing that was in the, uh, the pork loin chop. And then you can also try some of that. Mmm. Got like that, and how about you can try your uh, buttery uh, sherried apples? My buttery sherry apples. Right. Very good. Very did, good. A, mm. did a good job on it. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> wow, so. that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> You know what, if you want to stop by any of your Farm Fresh locations across Hampton Roads and find the one closest to you, you can go to farmfreshsupermarkets.com. I guess this will be the last Thursday we're doing an Oktoberfest theme because it's right. going to be November. Mm -hmm. But remember, if you need some treats for Halloween, they've got the great pull-apart cakes. I'm sure all kinds of Halloween-themed cupcakes and other goodies. and. Yeah, um, Another yep. job well done, Chef Well, Bob. thank you. You did a good job on this. All right. Well, <laughs> I can't take all the credit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Okay. Well.